Choose U-Box is another highly requested mini PC review, and I finally got around to it. The U-Box looks a little different from the norm, and I like it. My philosophy is this. If you can come up with an interesting design that isn't ugly, go for it. Otherwise, stick to a black box and we'll all be happy. I'll be happy. I've never been happy. Well, there was that one time Nick from Gear Seekers and I won three games of Warzone in a row. <laughs> oh, damn. What's that got to do with this mini PC? Uh, nothing. I'm just making conversation. What? Chewy's U-Box comes with AMD's Ryzen 6600H, a mid-range chip from a few years back. Still plenty powerful for many usage cases, but not mid-range in 2025. It comes with 6 cores, 12 threads, and Radeon 660M graphics. The performance on offer is fine for the price, which is below mid-range offerings at 327 US dollars. However, since Chewy likes you all so much, or me, I'm not sure which, they've provided a lucky 13% off coupon which drops the U-Box down to just $284.50. Shipping is free to my address, but you'll have to plonk in yours into the checkout to find out if there's an additional shipping fee or not. Those in the US can click the specific US link in the video description to have the item shipped from the US warehouse, so there won't be any import tax. For the dollars, you get 512GB of storage and 16GB of RAM. The 19 volt 90 watt power supply is a bit bigger than I'd like, but hard to complain about for the price. Also included is a VESA mount along with the manual. On the front is a power button, 3.5mm audio jack and a full featured USB 4 port, which means it supports power delivery and display with one USB-C cable. Yep, I tested it and it worked fine with my USB-C monitor. There's also a dual USB 3 10 gigabit. On the back you'll find a USB 2 port and another USB 3 10 gigabit. You've also got DisplayPort 1.2, HDMI 2.0 and dual Realtek 2.5 gigabit LAN. A Realtek Wi-Fi 6 card handles wireless and Bluetooth. Not bad at all for under 300 bucks. I really like opening the U-Box, it's toolless. You just need to pull on the top cover, which can be an issue if you pick up the mini to move it and forget how easily the top cover comes off. It's okay, I didn't drop it on the floor yet. Anyway, to go further, remove the metal plate insert which is used as a heatsink for the two 2280 M.2 slots. Both of them are Gen 4 spec, but the included drive is Gen 3. And there's just a single Racing 16GB DDR5 5600 RAM stick which will run at DDR5 4800 speed, as that's a hard limit of the Ryzen 6600H. Since this mini doesn't have an additional performance mode, I'll be testing it with both one and two sticks of RAM so you can see the difference. Chewy bundles Windows 11 Pro with its mini PCs, and the U-Box was clear of any malware or rootkits. Also try Ubuntu, and it works fine on this mini. Cinebench single core performance is as it should be for a 6600H, which is near the bottom of the chart. Adding a second RAM stick gives a slight boost in both single and multi-core performance. Geekbench single core benefits from two sticks of RAM and it's still near the bottom of the chart. Not surprising considering the price tag. In multi-core, the Chewy does a bit better once it's running in dual channel memory configuration. Chewy's U-Box just beat out the Minix in H.264 CPU video encoding, and with the AV1 coding, it had a nice win with two sticks of RAM. Moving on to AI CPU performance, and it's again near the bottom of the chart, with dual channel memory increasing performance a bit further. The same thing happens when we switch the workload to the GPU, although it performs pretty well compared to the rest of the minis in this stack. In 3D Mark's Firestrike graphics tests, we see what a difference the extra RAM makes for iGPU performance. Another big increase in Time Spy, and also in Steel Nomad. Overall, the Chewy U-Box performs like a Ryzen 6600H should. On to the game tests. I'm testing with two RAM sticks, even though it comes with one. What's that, Chewy? <laughs> I agree with you. If you're planning to play any games on this mini PC, that's the only way you should do it. 
and you need to factor the cost of the extra RAM stick into the price. Normally I test everything at 1080p low, but this time for the esports games, we're looking at 1080p medium settings to switch it up. AAA games on the Radeon 660M are a struggle for the most part, but some from the past few years are very playable. Wii U and PS3 emulation is fine for the most part. You should be able to hit many of the original target frame rates. The USB 4 port allows you to connect an eGPU or other 40 gigabit compatible device, which is a nice feature at this price point. The Chewy U box worked fine with my eGPU. Adobe Photoshop performance out of box isn't anything impressive. Even the Ryzen 7430U matches this CPU. Add a second stick of RAM and it shoots up dramatically, easily beating the 5825U. In Adobe Premiere, Chewy's U-Box does beat both the U-Series Minis out of the box, but with the extra RAM stick, it even matches Intel's Core Ultra 5 125H CPU. 3 d Mark's storage benchmark shows the included AirDisc Gen 3 NVMe drive to be an average performer overall, and a top Gen 3 performer. The metal plate with thermal pads does an okay job at keeping the SSD temp under control, and no thermal throttling occurred during testing. Chewy's U-Box has excellent Bluetooth range at 9.5 meters or 31 feet, and there were no problems with wireless range at a distance of 12 meters or 39 feet using the 5G band. It's interesting to see that both minis with the Ryzen 6600H idled at a higher wattage than most Ryzen CPUs. The U-Box stays around 11 watts, just as it did with the Minix. The maximum power draw hit 87 watts, Obviously, the Ryzen 6600H is not a power efficient CPU considering its performance, but we can't expect too much at this price point. Or can we? No, we can't. CPU temp stayed low, peaking at 84C, which is a good result, and load fan noise is around average. Not a bad result for a cheaper mini like this one. The U-Box is not much bigger than most mini PCs we look at, but is above average in volume. Mashing the delete key will get you into the BIOS, and Chewy has the main options people look for already pinned at the top in the Advanced tab. This one even has CEC support. Nice! In GFX configuration, you can set the VRAM limit from the available memory pool. And that about wraps up the Chewy U-Box, which thankfully doesn't have any major flaws. Let's go over its pros and cons. The U-Box has a unique design and can be opened without needing any tools. Performance is good once you add a second stick of RAM. The CPU temp is kept under control and it comes with a USB 4 port. Wireless and Bluetooth range is also great. However, its performance out of the box is lacking due to the single stick configuration. While fan noise is definitely not bad, I'd still like to see it lower. That's Chewy's U-Box, a competent mini PC worth considering, especially if you're looking for something under 300 US dollars. Find links and coupon in the video description if you're interested. Chewy also has a higher performance mini PC option known as the AU-Box, and you can find the review of that one right here. Cheers!